How can we rule out sciatic nerve neuralgia? My name is Dr. Ross Trucininov. I'm founder of Science of Medical Massage Institute located in Phoenix, Arizona. A couple of years ago, we had patient, 75 years female, who came to our clinic with uh, classical symptoms of sciatic nerve neuralgia. Pain radiating down to your leg, ending at the top of the foot. She was uh, limping, she couldn't sit for a long period of time. All of that was diagnosed as sciatic nerve neuralgia, and she went through many therapies according to this diagnosis and uh, without any significant success. During evaluation, one symptom was standing out. She complained about pain on anterior hip, which is never part of classic sciatic nerve neuralgia. Pain never radiates to the front of the hip if it's pressure on the sciatic nerve. So this um, unusual combination of the symptoms required more detailed evaluation. During evaluation, we ask patient to do very simple tests. It's called long straight test. In such case, patient makes long steps walking along the corridor. And when we ask her to do this test, then she was actually even hesitated to do that. She didn't want to actually increase size of each step she is taking. And that was indicator of the possible so-called femoral impingement syndrome, which is not frequently happen, but when they happen, they will mimic sciatic nerve neuralgia. The only difference is presence of sciatic nerve neuralgia with pain on the front of the hip. So here is the video of our patient uh, with anatomical landmarks. You have a femur. Now on opposite side is ischial bone and uh, you also see upper and lower edges of so-called quadratus femoris muscle. And what happened in the patient with uh, uh, ischial femoral impeachment syndrome, the quadratus femoris muscle becomes compressed between femur and the ischial bone. And that usually happens in the females, because females, generally speaking, have wider pelvis. Usually they are older and they also had several pregnancies, which make entire pelvic floor and the gluteal group weaker. So from that point of view, when patient has situation like that, then application of compression test will immediately rule in or rule out femoral ischial impeachment syndrome. If you want to decisively help patients in complex clinical cases, greatly increase your income and partner with local medical communities, please click right now at the link below in description and join us for live medical massage seminars and webinars and we will work together. Thank you and see you in the future. Video you see shows very simple application of three points for the compression test. First is application on the belly of quadratus femoris muscle, then application pressure on its insertion to the ischial bone, and then application of pressure to its insertion to the femur. As soon as we apply pressure, even mild pressure, at the insertion of quadratus femoris into the femur, patient scream from exactly the same pain she experienced before, radiating down to her leg and at the same time appears on the front of the hip. From that perspective, medical massage protocol right now requires decompression of the entire gluteal area, but then give special attention to the quadratus femoris. And the video you see right now shows you place for application, friction along and across belly of the quadratus femoris in cases of ischial femoral impingement syndrome. At the end of the therapy, not only entire pain went away and the patient had full restoration in the range of motion, when we asked her to do long straight test again in the clinic, she was able to do it very freely and the video, what you see right now, shows her to do long steps which she now can do without any pain and fear and discomfort due to our therapy eliminated uh, ischial femoral impingement syndrome, which mimicked sciatic neuroneurology. And that's the beauty of the profession. 
all of that bring us to the very important aspect, correct evaluation. If someone else before us pay attention to unusual combination of the pain, classic pain of static nerve neuralgia, and unusual appearance on the anterior hip joint, patient didn't suffer for all these months from the pain, which significantly restrict your quality of the life. From that point of view, correct evaluation, which we put so much effort when working with our students, is foundation for the successful somatic rehabilitation. Did you have patients with similar clinical picture? Are you familiar with uh, ischial femoral impingement syndrome? And if you do and you have experience of treating that successfully or unsuccessfully, please leave your comments below and thank you for watching. Let's work together to bring your practice into the medical massage field.